you guys know the summertime is like you don't want to really be wearing makeup but if you had to wear makeup this is the makeup that i personally would wear something that's lightweight that's not a lot of product and the product that you're using are very lightweight products yeah, yeah. Welcome back to my channel. It's Crystal here and if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for your continuous support. I appreciate you so, so much. But if you are new here, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video if you learned something new and also be sure to share and comment down below. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my current 2021 summer makeup um, this is a very simple, in my opinion, I barely use any products, like it's probably under, under 10 products. And in the skincare routine, my focus is really mainly on like my base and just getting my skin to look as flawless and as seamless as possible. I really try to give you guys some pointers and, and focus more on the base. I feel like when the base is good, everything else comes out better. So without any further ado, Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is start off with our primer. You guys know I love my Scandinavia primer spray. I use this literally all the time. But especially in the summertime because this leaves a really nice under uh, makeup glow that just looks radiant when you wear it in the summer. Um, so for concealer, we're going to start off with concealer. Well, what I've been doing lately is I've been using the concealer kind of to even out the tones um, under my eye. And I've been using this concealer with my fingers and I really just love the radiance that it has when I blend it out with my fingers. Um, and then I kind of buff it out afterwards with a beauty blender, but for the most part, I use my fingers and I absolutely love it. By the way, this is a NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Um, I'll leave all of the products down below, so if I don't mention something, it's down below. <laughs> um, so this is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I've been using this for a minute now, y'all. And this kind of leaves like a hydrated matte look, but it looks so good with this NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Like, I just love these two combinations together, the consistency. So this is the Thai Young brush. Um, this is her foundation brush, you guys. When I tell you, her brushes are so freaking, like, amazing. <laughs> and I didn't want to use that word. But her brushes blend out your makeup so well. And now I'm just using some additional concealer just to kind of brighten up my under eye this option is totally optional <laughs> you don't have to do this i like my under eye to be a little bit brighter you know because we're going to go in with some cream contouring and we're really bringing the warmth to my face and you guys are going to kind of see the dimension that i was going for foundation brush to apply this cream bronzer and this is not really a cream bronzer this is actually just a darker foundation and what I like is that I have been just playing with like different shades of um, color ranges for my skin tone and just kind of creating my perfect makeup um, shades right so I have three I have a light color which is a concealer and then I have the foundation which is my perfect skin tone and then I have a cream contour which is a little bit darker that acts in the role of a cream bronzer and that's just kind of how I've been doing it lately I just been applying very light layers to my skin um, and that's key with this makeup routine is not adding a lot of makeup to where once you blend it out the first time it's almost like, yeah, I you literally can't build on it because it's just already too thick. You want to start out really light and work your way um, to the consistency you're looking for. Right here, I'm adding some setting powder, the Laura Mercier setting powder, and I am just going to set my face, and then I'm going to go in with my brows.
for my brows I'm using the NYX pencil and I'm also kind of using my Maybelline uh, gel liner in brown and I've just been using these two combinations these two products um, to create a really great brow um, combination that I've been loving and I did a video on that so check that out right here at the top if you want to watch it So now I'm going in with some bronzer. This is my powder bronzer. I've been using this for years. You guys know the MAC Dark Deepest Skin Finish Powder is the powder. Okay, if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> okay, um, and all to me, all their skin finish uh, bronzers are really good. But I just love this one. I can build with it. I can deepen it. I can lighten it. It's just perfect. Um, just touching up that Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder just now under my eyes with a brush and then now I'm taking my Fenty Coco Naughty bronzer to add even more depth of a brown so you guys see I use a lot of brown tones you know to kind of accomplish this accomplish this whole look and it's almost like you're painting like you know you don't want to go from super harsh you know um, dark colors to like super light colors like it's almost like you're painting something all in the same color right variation if that makes sense um so yeah um so now i'm adding some lip liner another shade of brown you see how all the brown tones are just coming together um and this is from the beauty supply store you can literally grab this while you checking it out girl <laughs> it's probably in one of those little um cups like cup holders in the front when you're checking out um, and it's like it was 99 cents I think and this is a NYX lip gloss I don't remember the exact name but I leave it down below and now I'm gonna just add my Fenty Beauty uh, gloss bomb y'all know this is like my everyday lip gloss now I go from this one back and forth to fussy because I love, I just love both of these, those, like those are my favorite lip glosses. I'll never go back to any other lip gloss. <laughs> and now I'm going to add my lashes. Um, can't remember these either, but y'all will have them down below. <laughs> and we're about to just wrap up this look. Um, but these lashes literally came out so perfect. I loved how they looked. Um, and I'm running out of my Scandinavia finishing spray, so I just went ahead and added my primer spray instead. Um, don't do this. Make sure you get some finishing spray to really get the look. But I just had to use what I had. So yeah, this is how the makeup turned out. And I like, oh, I've just been in love with this makeup routine for like the past few weeks. I've been doing this for my for my everyday uh, makeup routine like if I'm going out at night tell me why I literally just put a new battery in my camera and my camera is dying as we speak I'm just trying to figure out how that's possible all right y'all so I just finished my makeup um, I'm about to take my hair out and then I'm going to close out the video and kind of give you guys some feedback, some thoughts um, that I have about my new makeup routine. I, I feel like this is probably the best makeup routine that I've ever had in my life, summer wise. Um, just the lightweightness of my, my face, how my face feels, like I don't look cakey, I just, mwah, chef's kiss. So I am about to take my hair out and then we are going to close this video out and then you can go check out the other videos on my channel. <laughs> Y'all are probably interested in how I do this anyway so let me just go ahead and take it out now and then y'all can see just the whole thing, you know, from start to finish. Ooh, no, this one did not turn out how I wanted it to. Hmm. Let me put this wand back on.
this is the final, final makeup look. Um, this is how my makeup came out. My hair kind of fell, as you guys can see. This is not a hair tutorial, so that doesn't matter. But this is how the makeup came out. I absolutely love how I've been doing my makeup lately. Um, on my Instagram, if you haven't already done so, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Killer Chris. But on my Instagram, so many people ask me like, what are you using for your like foundation, uh, for your base? How did your skin come out so flawless? I wanted to just do a video in full detail telling you guys products I use, how I put them on, what I use to put them on, and I just kind of like my little tips and tricks in getting a flawless makeup routine down for the summertime. You guys know the summertime is like, you don't want to really be wearing makeup. But if you had to wear makeup, if this is the makeup that I personally would wear. Something that's lightweight, that's not a lot of product, and the product that you're using are very lightweight products, okay? So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I will see you guys again in my next video. Please let me know down below what you guys would like to see, and I'll see y'all in my next one, okay? Meantime, in between time, make sure you go follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on TikTok, make sure you follow me on Twitter, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And leave me a comment to let me know that you were here watching and supporting as always. I love y'all and I'll see you in my next one. Bye y'all.